Oh, uh, but it was the Grim Soul Taker report. Well, the Grim report, as you guys all know. Um, I got some Marvel news and some movie news. I got it all set up for you guys. You know, to wait. All right. You get the preview. You know. Uh, it's a preview of the new of the first Iron Man. Exploring the pages of Secret Wars, one of the most popular superheroes in the world, gets gigantic new series from the creators brought to you, the Ultimate Spider-Man, comes new armor, new supporting cast, new villains, new suppose, a new suppose that is going, is going to tear itself, the entire Marvel Universe and beyond with a shocker of a last page that will have everyone talking and return, and return one Tony's biggest Nemesis, you will not know what don't will not want to miss it. The who are Tony's biological parents? The quest begins. Oh, so they're fucking up who Tony Stark's biological parents are now, guys. I'm looking at it. Is guy? I guess he's got a. Look at the first page here that they're showing. It's like a digital version of the suit. Oh, he can he can create the suit right off the bat. That's interesting. Well, from what I saw, looks like he's got like kind of like a Jarvis or an uh, image of Pepper Potts, kind of with short hair version of her. Now, who his love interest is going to be, that's up to the dumb idiot Bennis and the riding pool. Now, to me, it looks pretty, it looks good. The artwork looks good. The storytelling so far looks good from the preview. Let's get on with it. Okay. Now, Sony sets to release the Dark Tower Bad Boys sequels and sequels and more. It's big day for Sony Studios and announced the release dates for 16 films, including new date for the Paul Fer Fer Ye directed Stupid Ghostbusters, and dates for not for not for one but two official Bad Boy sequels. Really, I'm going to skip the Ghostbuster thing because we I I advise against watching that. Okay, Bad Boys 3, new renew of the franchise that debuts in 19, that debuted in 1995. We all know when it debuted. A sequel in 2003 is set February 17, 2017. Basically, we're getting a fourth, we're getting a fourth film, fourth Bad Boys film? Oh, a third one, and then a fourth one set for July, July 3rd, 2019. Wow. Video game based. John Chart is getting a fan. And that's set to release 2003, June the 30th, 2017. Zero scheduled. Oh, there's another step pushed back. Ah, okay, so it's been pushed back a year. 2017, it was originally scheduled for June 2000, June the 10th, 2016. Dark Towers long in development live action. Adaptation of a series of novels by Stephen King has been slotted for January 13th, guys. Passenger, there's much buzzed about original sci-fi concept starring box office powerhouse Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt is on the way December 21st, 2016. The live-action Barbie film was recently reported as being rewritten by Diablo Cody. It's scheduled to release June 2nd, 2017. The Jumanji remake is scheduled for Christmas Day, 2016. Resident Evil 6 is set, said the, the last film zombie game inspired from, it wasn't inspired by the, zombie, by the game, guys. And if you guys know what I'm talking about, then you know these stupid movies. Okay. That's set for January the 27th, 2017. A fifth underworld is officially for October 21st, 2016, next year. These dates are additional previous scheduled on Sony's dock 
including Spider-Man reboot co-produced by Marvel Studios, Jan- July the 28th, 2017, and Spider-Man animated film, an animated film, and July the 20th, 2018. Money Monsters, I won't get into all of these, but they're all set, most of them are set 2017, some 16, and some, and one's 19, Bad Boys 4 is 2019. Wow. I'll have everything release date and everything down in the little bar down there that I can put it in there and I'll have them all set up when they're all going to be about. But you can believe it, a Bad Boys 4. Well, actually, a Bad Boys 3. Um, wow, we're getting another stupid Resident Evil movie for you idiots fans of that. Sorry, I don't mean to call you guys idiots. Um... It's a stupid film, and it's just my opinion. Then there's the reboot of the Ghostbusters. Nobody cares about. I advise against going to see that because it's not going to be funny, and it's... Oh, God, it's just not. It's just ignorant. These women can't act, okay? If you've seen the films they're in, they can't act. Okay, they, they're they comedians. Put them on a stage. You got them. There you go. But I've seen each one of the films, and I've seen some of them in TV, and they can't act. They're horrible. I mean, one of them can't even hate, be, can't even act being sad. She's that horrible about it. Um... And one of them can't even act, period. And the other one's just a comedian. And God, guys, just just please don't go see this film. Um, the Bad Boys 4, I'm really looking forward to that. It's just that, aren't they kind of old now? What's this going to be, old man? Oh, God. But if you remember last we left off with the Bad Boys 4... God, those kids could be grown up by now. I mean, seriously, why wait so long? To, I mean, I know there's got to be writing going on, but to be honest, guys, that's pretty stupid, but hey, I, I'd go see it. Um, but these others of the Dark Tower series, I've looked at the kind of, it's mainly like a Western type deal. Um, I suggest you read it. And then the Spider-Man reboots. I mean, if they're gonna do it, or if they do it right, it's gonna be cool. They don't, you know, don't. Uh, comments on the Iron Man thing. If you want to get it, get it. I'm not advising against Iron Man. I'm just advising against all the new crap that's coming out. Especially that if you've read Secret Wars, then you guys know that Miles Morales is the only one for some. Stupid reason the writers make him out to be like a champion of something. And he's supposed to be a threat to Dr. Doom now. Because he can remember how things used to be. And I'm like, you could have done that to anybody, but you choose a, a comic book hero that's only been a hero for four years. Uh, let's just shoo in for giving his own series. Why don't they just give him his own series and leave him out of being uh, Spider-Man's sidekick up until, well, maybe a week or two. Oh, Miles, you can go be Spider-Man now. I'll give you my name like Thor did that dumb. Never mind. Let's not get into that. But Thor might be getting his own series from what I hear. It's going to call it, be called Odin's Son. And I'm like, what the hell can Thor do with a robotic arm and an axe? I mean, he looks like a drunken fool. He's not even wearing his armor anymore. So, yeah. um, Don't buy that one. Don't even buy Thor. Should, um, like I said, I'm protesting everything Marvel. I'm just giving the moves because... Hey guys, if you're a reporter, you gotta go, you gotta go above, you gotta be above your own opinions, but still give your opinions. But that's it guys, um, good luck, good night, God bless you all.